Hello viewers, welcome to New Truck Mathematics. Today we are going to solve this question 3 raised to power y raised to power square all over 9 raised to power y equal to 27. We are asked to find y if that value is equal to 27. But before we find the solution, kindly comment, like, and subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to also kindly hit the notification bell so that you can always get my video once they are uploaded. Now let's solve. To solve this question, we want to look at how we will uh, use some laws of indices. We are going to look at uh, 3 raised to power y raised to power 2 over this will be 3 raised to power 2y and that will be equal to 3 raised to power 3. Remember, 3 times 3 times 3 will give us 27, and 3 times 3 will give us 9. So the next thing we'll do here, we're going to cross multiply. Now, if we cross multiply, we're going to have our 3 raised to power y square to be equal to 3 raised to power 2y multiplied by 3 raised to power 3. Now recall the law of uh, indices that if we have uh, if we have uh, y raised to power a multiplied by y raised to power b, that will be equal to y raised to power a plus b. So we're going to apply this law over here. We're going to apply this law here in solving this equation. Equation. We have our three y square. To be equal to 3 raised to power 2y plus 3. Same base, we're going to cut this because they have same base, and that will give us that will give us a, a y square to be equal to 2y plus 3. So our y square will be equal to this come over here, and this will come over cross over the equal to sign to give us 2y minus 3 and this will be equal to 0. So what we will now do now is to solve this quadratic equation. Now to solve this quadratic equation we're going to use the factorization method. In that factorization method we are will be required to find two values of y such that when we multiply the two values, we are going to have minus 3. And when we add the two values, we are going to have minus 2. Now, what are those two values? The two values will be 3 and 1. Now, if we put this negative sign to 3 and we put the positive sign to 1, we are going to get this value because minus 3 times 1 will give us minus 3. And when we have minus 3, plus plus one that will give us minus what minus two and that's the value we are looking for minus three plus plus one that will give us minus three plus one and that will be equal to minus two so that is the value we are looking for so we are going to uh, substitute that value into this equation and then we'll have our y square minus three y minus plus y minus 3 and that will be equal to 0. So we have uh, simplifying this we'll have a y which is common between this and this to come out minus 3 then this will be 1 minus plus 1 y minus 3 and that will be equal to 0. So we have two values of y and y plus 1 and our y minus 3 equal to 0. So from here, we can now say that our y plus 1 is equal to 0 and our y minus 3 is equal to 0. So here our y will be equal to minus 1 and our y here will be equal to 3. So the solution to that question will give us our y to be equal to minus 1 and 3 and that's the solution to the value 
of y given in the equation above. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe to this channel, like and comment on this video.